I need to find it. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, eh. My bars ASAP full of hey. Yeah, I don't do this often, I hope you know. I didn't get my C in mass, but an A in life, and that's a fact. Always got my camera in my hand. People saying, Come land and take some pics. I'm like, Yeah, of course, that's grand. 536 on my Insta story, but 150 likes. I support you. What? Surely I don't do this every day, but I edit all the time. I don't sleep till day. Hey. See these views and likes mean nothing. <laughs> Alright. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very special guest with me. This is Ellie. Ellie. You guys <laughs> already know her because I spoke about her a lot on this channel already. And she was the one that edited one of my videos for this channel as well. So today I'm going to be doing an interview with Ellie. This is going to be a new feature in this series. Like a new s series, sorry, of like artists interviewing an artist. Even though she, like she's not necessarily a musician. I am. Um, you are a musician. Got, got my guitar and <laughs> yeah, like, but she's still an artist. She is a creator, so she creates things. So, if you just want to give us a little yeah. backstage, who's so Ellie? Ellie. So Ellie is seventeen oh nine. The first behind it. Um, I create videos, direct videos, um, but I kind of go into the realms of like fashion as well, like fashion photography, fashion videography. Um, but music is my main passion, like that. That I want to be focused in, so like making music videos and yeah, hundred percent, yeah, yeah, that's sick. So like, how did we meet? Let's just talk about that first of all. Like, <laughs> we were going to the same college, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> we no longer there. <laughs> yeah, both of us. Like, I didn't drop out, but like, you guys already know the story. Like, I was doing uni first, then I went back to college, yeah. and then. Uh, we, I was doing a class and we had to collaborate with some photographers, videographers. So we just went, casually just went into her room. And I think I was with Kyle, mm. um, who was in my class and like we were close. And he knew Ellie already. Yeah. So then like we literally just hit up like through him. Yeah. And hit it off straight away, like pretty much. Literally. And then I needed like some portfolios, like photos. So yeah. we just went into like one of the music rooms and did like a like a photo shoot but then it turned like turned into like a video shoot so I was just taking little video clips of it and then that was my first ever like video as well so I went home on iMovie edited like a video um with both of them in it and put like Batman behind it Jaden Smith which was like, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. jam back in back last year and then it got like a sick response on Instagram and then we've been working together ever since like, literally that was my first ever video like that is that I've so ever done. sick because yeah. I didn't know that she didn't do it I just thought she looks like someone who gets stuff done so let's contact her let's get in touch with her and literally she's probably like one of the very few people that i can say i can trust like with work and stuff like her work ethic is <laughs> it's strong literally so like we was talking yesterday a little bit about like your business and then i asked you the meaning behind your business name i yeah. don't know if you want to share that now. yeah um so my business name is 1709 um so when I was 17, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I was in school doing maths. I never passed maths. Like, I've never passed it. Yeah. Um, but everyone was telling me, like, you need to pass maths to get to where you want to be. Um, but I just knew that I didn't need it. Like, um, so I was going for a bit of a rift time at 17. And then the 9th of April, like, 09 comes from 9th of April, like, um, back in 2015, um, I decided to become vegetarian on the 9th of April and just have, like, a whole, like, life change. Um, and then whenever I got down, I'd always think back to that day and be like, oh, like, I can actually be a better person. So I just kind of put 1709 together um, and then it kind of came, became a thing. And then I did the textbook with 1709 on it um, with maths behind it. It's kind of, um, what's the word, like, to kind of show that I'm bad at maths, oh, but I'm, kind of I'm good at cameras. Like, I, you know, so they... Yeah. Compare I think that's so sick, cause especially because, yeah. like... For me, it took me three years, like three tries to pass my maths and get like the C. But then you don't even really need it afterwards. And like that's only if you want to go to like uni yeah. or if you want to do something maths related or something like that. Like you need that there. But to be honest, you don't really need a lot of things to get to where you need to be. So I think that's really cool that you have something like that. And then like people can look at that and see the content that mm -hmm. you're making anyway and think, 
well she did that like without this without that yeah i can do what i need to do without yeah. having that so that's that's pretty sick yeah um so what are like some of your business goals would you say like what are some of the goals that you want to achieve, achieve with this whole thing um i'd definitely say the main goal is to well the main career goal is to be on stage with an artist like drake or like Cardi B or something and just video them and make like a mini promotional video for their Instagrams or whatever because um, I've got a lot of inspirations that do that like so many but yeah. um, that's the main goal but I also want to do adventure into like new things like um, festivals and like all that kind of jazz but the main the main goal is to be a director and direct music videos and be just in the music scene like with my camera and like that's what I want that's so cool yeah but I also want to be going into the realms of, you know, you don't really need grades. I want to be that person where someone can be really down and they look at me and be like, oh, like, okay, she went through this time, didn't get a grades, but she actually made it out, like, quite okay. Yeah. That's why I want to be, like, an inspiration to at least one person, like, yeah. to make them, them feel better about I'm themselves. I'm sure you are already. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, like, with that idea, do you think, you'd, like, you could put on, like, some workshops and events where, yeah. like, you have different speakers saying, look, like you don't need this and this is how you can get into this industry yeah I think that would be sick if you did yeah. that and I think events are a huge thing at the moment like everyone does events yeah. but it's how you can make your event different because I wouldn't, wouldn't want to step on like anyone's toes like do you know what I mean but I want to be able to do like a 1709 thing where it's different and it's making people inspired when they leave and they're like oh okay like my life isn't actually that bad like yeah that's what yeah that can happen yeah hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so like what kind of difficulties have you faced like with the come up of your career or whatnot because there are like different things that you have to overcome yeah. to get to where you are i'd definitely say being a woman yes <laughs> is 100 percent part of the problem but it's it's cool at the same time because you get people really respecting you for it but i definitely said there's a lot of time where someone would ask me to do a music video for them and then they'll ask me i'll be like okay let's go and meet up in town go for a briefing and they're like no no come to my house like yeah and it's like no, like come to town. They're like, oh yeah, but town's far. I'm like, town's far for me as well. But I'm not going to come to your house because that implies something. Um, I definitely think people try and use you as a as a woman in this industry for other things. But I'm here for business, <laughs> not women. <really. laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Literally, like if you're a woman and you want to have like either your own business or yeah. if you want to be in like the music industry, you have to put business first and yeah. you have to make sure that's the kind of image you're portraying first yeah because then people are just gonna take the mix exactly until they see what you can do yeah but I don't know if you've experienced it as well but it's actually because like a year ago I didn't really know how like not that I said yes to everything but like I was scared to say no to certain things right. but it's made me a lot more confident in like confident in myself to be like you know what no I'm not coming to your house you can meet me in town if you really want me to work on your video like it's made me a lot like realize who I am like and I can be more like no yeah. <laughs> this is happening so yeah i don't know if you, you probably explained yeah that yeah a ton because especially like when i went to uni the majority of people there were male mm -hmm. and that was already annoying i'm just like okay <laughs> here we go kind of thing and then there was those guys that you know just ask like stupid questions yeah, all yeah. the time yeah and they don't take you seriously until they actually see that you're doing something like consistently mm -hmm. And even if you're not like getting rewards for anything yeah. immediately, but you like you just keep going, then they're like, okay, I gotta take it seriously yeah, now, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> or they they take the mic. Like I was doing photography as well before, and people didn't want to pay. They're just like, no, the story of my life. Or they they help you to put on your camera lens or something like. Do you know? <laughs> I had know someone say to me the other day. I was at a music video shoot, and they were like, um, it was a it was a bloke, and he was like, I was putting, I was changing my lens on my camera, and he was like. Um, do you know how to change a lens? And I was like, yes, like I do this for like a living every day. Like, of course I know how to change a lens. Like it's so stupid. And then he asked me, I probably shouldn't say it because he might watch it, but yeah, um, <laughs> he was like, my video, like my rate, my pricing, whatever you call it. Um, I told him my price and he, he was like, oh no, can you do it for like, I don't want to say because he's going to know who yeah. he is, but he used to do it for a lot lower. And me being stupid, I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. And afterwards, I was like, wait, like, why, why did I say yeah? Because I'm not in it for the money. But then someone said to me the other day, they were like, but you are in it for the money because you want to make a living out of it. And I was like, that is real. I never really thought of it like that. Yeah. Um, because I'm so passionate about it. Like, when someone says do something for free, I'm like, yeah, of course. But then at the same time, like, I want to be able to afford, like, a car and new camera equipment. 
So, 100%, yeah. I think that's quite a taboo thing, talking about money and business yeah, and, like, yeah. and passion as well, because people think, oh, if you're passionate about it, you're going to invest so much money, you're going to invest so much time into something. Mm -hmm. But then, if you're not getting any return, how sustainable is it, really? Mm. Like, you can love yeah. something all you want, but you're never going to get further or, like, be able to afford new equipment or better mm -hmm. quality if you're not getting anything mm -hmm. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, like that's one of the things as well, like when you first start a business you have to, there are some things that you just have to compromise on, mm -hmm. like lower your pricing, just for like only a short period of time and then once you get consistent like yeah. clients and stuff, then you can start slowly raising the price. Yeah. But then it shows that you're serious, Yeah. it shows that like you're yeah. professional, because then if it's just like a tenor for a photo shoot, like every Everyone's time, like, they're like, why? what kind of quality? Are you doing? Yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to work with you. <laughs> like, Literally. or some people just take the making, like, yeah, just do it, attend it, like, every time. Yeah, actually, no. friend, right? Friend, right? It's like, I didn't know you, like, go to on Instagram, like, friend, right? Literally, <laughs> me. Literally, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the segue, let's talk about the kind of equipment that you use then. Yeah. Oh, it's so basic, like, that, you know. Um, <laughs> I use a Canon 1200D, but I'm investing into um, either a Canon Mark V or a Sony, which is so expensive. Like, all of my money right now is going towards new camera equipment. Right. Um, I use a gimbal. Um, I've got, like, studio lights. Um, that's literally it. But I found out that you don't, it's not actually, like, the equipment that you use, it's how you use it. Like, right. if I could have, like, the sickest camera, but no creative vision at all, so it just comes out just rubbish. Comes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but it took me a long time to realise, like I'd see, at first when I started doing it, like I'd go to events and people would whip out their massive like cameras and there's me with like a 1200D, like a little one, yeah. and I'd be like, whoa, like they that must make a sick it. video, but then I'd go home, edit it, and then people would be like, oh my god, this is really good, and I'd be like, that person with that big camera, like, I yeah, was able to do what he was doing with... With what I've got, camera. yeah. That's cool. But that's what I use anyway. And I've got like a mic and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Use what you have until you can get some exactly. better. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Like once you can master the small stuff then you yeah. can like yeah. invest in like the best stuff. Mm -hmm. That's sick. So what's a day like with Ellie? Walk us through a day <laughs> A day life, in my life. A typical day. Um, okay, so I wake up pretty early like, um, and I do a bit of editing. Um, normally, I'll probably leave my house at like 11, go into town, go for a few meetings with some artists, um, then go on a photo shoot, <laughs> um, or a video shoot, either yeah. one. Um, but sometimes when I do photo shoots, they do turn into video shoots because I just like making videos. Um, then afterwards, I'll either go home and edit, or I'll go to an event and video at the, the event, mm. and then come home. So I, my day starts from around like 7, and then I get home on a busy day about 9, 10. Okay. Um, yeah. That's not too bad. No. Nah. But if I'm if I'm doing nightclubs like um like like night events, mm. I'll get home a bit later but yeah. yeah. It's all fun. <laughs> yeah. I actually I really enjoy it. Like I yeah. can drink and <laughs> work on the camera so. so like like is every day different? I'm sure it's gonna oh, yeah. be like with, yeah. like your whole creative kind of thing. But like, I don't know, like for even, like for instance tonight I've got the Birmingham Music Award event, yeah. like the network event, but then last night I didn't even know anything about it until Whoa. someone messaged me and was like, Oh let's go to this tomorrow and I was like, Okay. Let's like do it. <laughs> every I don't know what was is gonna happen like next week, like yeah. which is really fun. Like Do you take like every opportunity that's given to you? Yeah. Okay. Even like the smallest thing, like, um, can you come and do like a few headshots for me? Like yeah. I'll get so excited because I'm like, okay, I can use my camera, that's like so <laughs> let me go and do it's I don't, I don't take what I do like at all for granted because I think I feel proper like privileged that I can actually I found my talent at yeah. such a young age and I've been able to pursue it like I've still got a long way to go, but I actually feel like sometimes I'm like oh I've got to edit this video but then I'm like wait like why am I stressing over a video that someone's asked me to edit for them that interested yeah. me, so yeah every day is different like That's I'm editing cool. different things all the time like. Yeah. That's like gold right there, like take on every opportunity that literally, comes your way yeah. and like appreciate it. You don't know what can come from it, like exactly. um, even take the free things that get offered to you, I know we're just talking about that, but yeah. there's a lot of times I've done stuff for free that have actually benefited me in the long run, like um, I had the privilege of working with Anne Summers like this year on their Birmingham catwalk, but I wouldn't have done that um, if I didn't work with one of the models for free before that, wow. who told them about me, so that's 
you gotta do something so networking <laughs> network yeah literally literally networking can make or break you literally. honestly because if you stay in your, in your house all the time and you don't meet anyone like no one's gonna know who you are exactly um but there's definitely times as well where you don't want to leave the house and you just want to stand in a little pit and edit <laughs> and then you're like wait like i need to be going out there so people know that see my face and, that's yeah. so that's so cool that's so, cool. <laughs> so let's just talk about that for a little bit because yeah. i remember you went over to america which is so cool yeah to do what you're doing there like can you explain what you're doing in america because yeah. i know you went over there did i whoa, no, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so i was there for three months so i was doing working as a lifeguard um which wasn't actually meant to happen but that's that's another story yeah um and then, so I was in Washington, I don't know if I said that, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, I was there for three months and then I was working with special needs kids, which was my first time like ever working with special needs right. kids, um, and it was like the most amazing experience of my life, like it's it's made me want to like do more, um, I can talk about that more after, but made me do more with special needs, but um, yeah, so and then I'd turn into the camp like personal photographer, <laughs> so I was taking pictures of um, every week of the kids and um, all that, but it it proper gave me an insight into into other people's lives and like how hard it is for certain kids and it was like so nice like being able to look after a kid one day and like put a smile on their face and it was so it was like so nice. amazing then I went traveling afterwards to Miami New York and that was cool there because I put a post out I was like if anyone in Miami is an artist and wants to shoot a music video hit me up and I had three artists pop up and I was like whoa That's so we went sick. and shot like we went and did a photo shoot with one of them. I did um, a mini music video with the other one. And then the other one we ended up just talking about random stuff. Um, but I was like, oh my god, like this could be my life. Like travelling and making videos. Like, But it was sick. And then in New York, um, I made like a New York video. Yeah. And that did that got so many views. I saw like, that actually. It got so <laughs> many views. I was like, oh my, how did that happen? Yeah. But um, yeah, America was a great experience. But it was hard. But um, it made me want to come back and like proper work like for what I want because it's it made me realize I can actually I'm in a good position to be doing what I'm doing because there's some kids out there that like that have literally have nothing like yeah so yeah so what I was going with, with that question is because like we was talking about yesterday as well and you yeah. said that when you came back you literally it felt like you had to kind of Stop. remind people that you were still around yeah. doing stuff like because they maybe they probably thought that you were still in america oh yeah or whatnot. yeah so when i first went i had a lot of jobs and i just kind of left like i just left everything like um i was doing quite well and then yeah. i kind of went to america um and then when i came back people didn't realize i was back so it was like starting from fresh like no one was asking me to do videos no one was asking me to do photos um so i just kind of started ha having to ask my previous like people that I've worked with before, like I came back from America, do you want to go and do a shoot? Mm. Um, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. So then I had like, a proper build up from when I got back, which gave me also like, was like, do you know what? Like I may have people asking me now for stuff, but in like a few months, people may find someone else. Yeah. So that's what's makes me work harder every day, like to make sure I get out there and work because obviously being a freelancer, like you know, mm. like sometimes you have work, sometimes you don't. So yeah. it was literally like starting from scratch. like. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that must have been so hard. Yeah, but like such a good thing as well because mm. then it just shows you, like you're a fighter. Like yeah. you need to <laughs> put in the work to get what you want. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of like a golden thing for you guys to remember as well that there's so many people doing what you want to do right mm. now. Like they may be at a higher level than you or a lower level than you, but there's always somebody there that's fighting to like get the job so literally but at the same time no one can be you so only exactly. you can be you. like you have to be the one to like literally if you don't want if you feel down one day and you're in your bed and you don't want to go out mm. literally get up have a shower do your makeup do your hair and go out because like once you're out there you'll be like oh my god like you'll meet someone like randomly like in a coffee shop or like on the train and you'll be like whoa this is why i came out today like if you stay in your bed I don't do anything like of course people are going to be better than you because you're not progressing in your career mm -hmm. so get out there and actually start doing, doing something, <laughs> doing something. Um, <laughs> even if so even if you haven't even started like you've never picked up a camera mm. but you're passionate about cameras and you know that you can be good in it just go and use your phone and take something like take a video of a train or like yeah or something just to show people that you're actually you're about something you're passionate because um, people will see you, and once one person sees you, it's a spiral, and everyone sees you. <laughs> That's what we like. Networking. Like, set up a portfolio as well of like yeah. all of your stuff. 
Like yeah. you've got a website now, yeah. which is pretty sick. Sentinelmarmedia.co.uk Hey, that <laughs> classic plug. It will be in the description, guys, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> like everything will be in the description, but literally just like get yourself out there. So mm -hmm. what, so like you've already given us like a few tips here and there, but like what other tips can you give like aspiring photographers, videographers? Yeah. Like people want to do what you're doing. Oh, just do it. Like, <laughs> when I first started, like I didn't, I was just so confused about how to get in the industry, like, because my thing is music, yeah. and I was like, how can I get into music without being a singer? Like, I can't sing, um, although I can rap. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nothing to me. I just wish I'd get more support than I'm getting. Listen to me, but you're too worried about me. Let me finish this. I don't really. Stop. <laughs> I can't. Um, yeah, no, like, I was like, how do I get into it? Like, I don't know anyone. Literally, I met you. I went to, I was at sixth form um, for a year, and then I was like, this is not for me. So I went to a music college to study media, and that was perfect to get in there because I found you and Kyle, and I was like, when I started taking videos, I just did it. Like, I was really nervous. Like, I was like, oh my god, like, they've asked me to do a photo shoot. Yeah. And I've never really took photos before. Um, even though I love. I've never, I've took photos of like flowers and stuff but never of an artist Right. and I was like well I was proper nervous and I just did it and from me doing, just doing it and getting past my nerves and like my self doubt and stuff it turned out really good like so um, good. but I just say like to anyone that wants to do photography or videography or anything mm. you just have to go and do it and you don't, you may not think you're the best in the world but like there's only so could you but there's only like one you like <laughs> you know what I mean like no one yeah. can be you no one can do you you just have to get your name out there and just start working and there's going to be a, f a whole period of people not knowing who you are and you're going to be working and thinking why am I doing this like why am I working so hard for no one to see it yeah. but once you start getting that one person that says oh my god I love your videos don't take it for granted like be like oh my god someone's actually watching it yeah um, or photos someone's actually watching it and enjoying what I'm doing so literally just get out there that's all I can say that's and um, another thing I'll add on to that as well that is your professionality like if you're going to be professional about it because as I said I didn't realize that she hadn't really done it before <laughs> like I thought she had like this massive like portfolio <laughs> like fair clients because literally we went in there we spoke with her and then we were like oh do you want to like work together and she's like yeah let's do it yeah. and then I went okay I'm having a few ideas and she literally looked at us and then she went on Google and showed us images and she said this would suit you this yeah. would suit you and I was like okay yeah let's do it and then we literally went in no hesitation she set up everything and she did it yeah. and did more because like you did videos as well yeah. and literally that's one thing that I would say is like if it's the first shoot you're ever doing with someone like don't tell them oh like by the way <laughs> I've, I've never done this before and like don't be yeah. shy don't sell yourself short just do it like yeah. literally what you said but like and be professional about it like do your research if there's something that you want to do research learn how to use your camera learn all these little bits mm -hmm. and bobs and then like pitch yourself yeah because literally. Literally, that's what you did yeah and I was none the wiser <laughs> we're like published in a magazine now for like the college yeah. magazine we're like of her photos of us were like all over the college campus. Yeah. Literally. That was it sick. It was sick. <laughs> I was gassed. I was like, yes, and yeah. like got us there kind of thing. Yeah. But and that was like her first like starting it and now look where she is now. Look at the content she's making now. Like everyone can do it. It's pretty yeah. sick. But don't also also don't be afraid to like not know something. Like there's so many I spend hours a night like I'm such a nerd, but yeah. I'll go. Nothing wrong with nerds. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with um, nerds. But I'd I'd go onto YouTube and I'll put like a video on Final Cut or Adobe Premiere um, on my TV, and I'll sit there for hours learning how to do little transitions and little edits from my laptop. And I've got so many. Find, go on Google and find someone like an inspiration. Like um, for me, it's Director X and Karen Evans and Cole Bennett, obviously. Yeah. Um, my videos are just Cole Bennett. Like, it's got Cole Bennett all over it. But find what they're doing and figure out how they do it and then change it like your style yeah. so then people are looking at it and can be like oh my god that's that's like this person but it's a bit different um but just be confident in what you're doing and don't or like you know at high school and you know when you like you do something but you won't want to do it fully because someone would always be saying something and you'd be like oh yeah. i can't do this because charlotte will say this about me or something but like you have to just you're only in this for yourself, you're not in it for anyone else. So you have to just go and don't care about what your friend thinks or what 
the popular group things. Like, mm. just go and do what you want to be doing. Because at the end of the day, when you actually make something of yourself, then popular people won't be, oh, no, like, they'll, they'll be actually praising you, like, popping up to you, like, oh, my God, you're doing so well. Yeah. Um, so don't let what anyone else says, like, get in the way of what you want to do either, because it's just, yeah. It's just people. Like, yeah. their opinions change all the time. Exactly. <laughs> just yeah. do what you need to like, do. Like, I've got so many people at the moment, like, from my old, like, school that pop up and like, are oh, you doing so well? And I'm like, I was scared to, like, do photography back when I was at high school because I was scared of what people would think. And now it's become, like, an actual career and people praise me for it. Mm. Like, and it just makes me think, like, if I had someone telling me when I was back in year 10 or year 11, like, don't care what people think of you, then I would be, like, I would be a more confident person back in the day. Yeah. Back, back in the day. Back in the <laughs> day. Years ago, but, <laughs> but, yeah, like, just don't care what people think of you because it... It doesn't. It honestly doesn't matter. Like yeah. once you once you get to the point where you're you're confident in yourself and confident in what you're doing, you'll look back and be like, "Whoa! Like why did I care? Like yeah. why did I care?" But I feel like for like in your defence, you were at college. Like people are judging you anyway. Like the tutors, like you have deadlines and stuff like that. And tutors are like, "Okay, you need to do this bit of that." But, so there's that kind of element to yeah, it. But yeah. then like they don't pretty much train you how to be in the real world where like, <laughs> no. so you literally you just need to do your own research yeah. and just not be afraid just go for it but like if you don't get your C in maths or your C in science or your C in, in, in English like don't let that hold you back because if you look at it from an outside perspective if you've got someone that want, if you want someone to take a picture for you you're not going to be like, oh, do you have your C in maths? You're going to be like, oh, what photos have you took? Yeah. Like, if you're not going out and taking pictures and taking videos, no one's going to know your potential. Like, if you've got a C in maths, oh, great, but, like, where's the photos? Where's the videos? Like, it it really doesn't matter, like, what grade you get. Like, don't let a piece of paper determine your whole future career. Yeah. And obviously it's needed in some aspects, but not if you want to be creative, like, really. And if you want to do something, just go and do it. Like, <laughs> honestly, I it's can't tell you, like, just go and do it. Yeah. There's so much like information out there now for you to know oh, like yeah. what yeah. to do. It may take time, but like mm -hmm. you can get it. Like it's fine. Yeah. So pretty much, kind of the last question I would guess is like you're freelance now. Mm -hmm. So you've spoken a little bit about it here and there. But yeah. how did you literally like start like your own business? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, it, literally from your video, um, I got a guy called Dom, um, who he's like. He's a producer, a DJ, like, he writes, he does everything. Yeah. Um, he messaged me on Instagram um, a year ago, like, on the 30th of November, so nearly a year ago, Whoa. when I first started doing it. Um, he messaged me on Instagram, I was like, oh, I've seen you're a photographer, um, have you got any work? And I, was, I showed him your video and your photos, and he was like, oh, this is sick, like, I've got an event at Cal in Birmingham, right. um, would you want to come and take a video of the event? And I'd never done anything like that, and I was like, I was so scared, I was like, I didn't know how to use Final Cut. So I went to Fabrice, my tutor, and I was like, um, what do I need like to go and take a video? And he was like, okay. So he downloaded Final Cut for me. Um, definitely not the illegal way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely still don't use it. Um, he downloaded it for me and I I got some stock images from Google and I just started editing and throwing all the effects on it. And I was like, yeah. this is sick, I can do a VHS style, which has turned into my style. But I did the event. I edited a minute video together, put it on social media. Um, all of Dom's friends, like, seen it, like, his music friends, and was like, this is sick. Like, so I've, yes. since then, I started working with all of them, got all my work literally from Dom, like, <laughs> um, and it's just spiraled into, like, my own style of 1709. And I realised I was putting, like, I was writing 1709, directed by 1709 on my videos, but it wasn't, like, I didn't really understand it myself. So then I asked someone to do a logo for me, Lil Saucy Knuckles, he's sick. Um... And he did it, and then it, that was when it like, really became like a thing. Like People mm. were looking at 1709 and was like, oh, like this is actually a brand. Right. Um, but like my video styles, I think, is... I've got quite a unique style of how I edit. Mm. So I think people already know like when I do a video, that it's me that's done it. But then I just stick my logo on it, and that's that's what makes it like an actual video. Final proof, yeah. the stamp of approval. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, that's how it kind of spiraled into an actual business right. like, or a brand. So do you feel like you had to change the way you were running things to make it more of a business or do you feel like that was just happening anyway? It just kind of happened. Like right. I didn't I've never changed anything about what I do. Like I just try and learn new things every day. Like um I definitely think my video <laughs> editing's improved. 
um because at first i just stuck all the all the edits all the on effects. <laughs> yeah i was like oh my god it's like a bad tv effect it's a prism effect yeah and i put it all together um but now like i know how to use it and it's just i don't try and be unauthentic like it's quite like if i see something i like i'll try it um but yeah that's 1709 like definitely is going on its own little lane and brand and I'm excited to see where it goes in a year's I'm time. Because it's only been going for like properly, like officially a year. Wow. So, yeah, who would have thought I'd be in front of a camera doing an interview? Who would have thought? Right, it was quite good. funny when you first started as well because, like, oh, okay, it's the first time in front of the camera, I'm usually behind it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's quite funny. You, like, I was just standing there, like, watching her, like, set up the video, and then she was like, no, can you go in front of it so I can focus on you? I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what thing. I would be doing. <laughs> that's a thing. Right, Ellie, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming here. Like, I've learned so much just by speaking of you, and I know you, it's just crazy, like, but I've learned so much more. And, um, like, it was so cool. So, hopefully, like, you guys picked up at least one thing from this. Like, I'm sorry if I talk really fast, it's a problem. Like, <laughs> it's a big problem. <laughs> you have so much to say, and it all I makes do. sense. Hopefully. As long as you're not talking rubbish, like, Debatable. Probably, I'll probably talk like ten percent good and then ninety percent trash. Like that is a lie. It's gonna be edited to shizzle. <laughs> that is a lie. Yeah, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming. Thank I you. hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like. <laughs> comment. Yeah, leave a comment. What was your favorite like thing that you learned from this video? What sort of business do you do, or what business ideas do you have that you want to pursue? Leave it in the comments and then maybe like someone will be down there giving you like tips and stuff. And like, go check out our songs on SoundCloud. Hey, thanks. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Thank you. All of Ellie's links will be in the description on Instagram, her website. Do you have Twitter? Do you have a what? Twitter? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. That will be in the description. Like everything from Ellie will be in, in the description. So check her out. And if you need like a videographer, photographer, she's your girl. Literally, <laughs> she is a girl. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I shall see you in the next one. I'll play them out. Oh yeah, play you, them you out. You can sing. Yay! No, let's not do that. I'm not ready. Bye. <laughs>